Over the last decade, the Developing Mathematical Thinking Institute, DMTI, has been working with teachers and students, perfecting the five dimensions of the Developing Mathematical Thinking framework. This professional development program helps teachers apply the DMT framework to develop students' mathematical thinking. The first dimension starts by placing students in situations to activate their prior knowledge and extend these ideas, so the teacher is taking the student's ideas seriously. When students are placed into this problem-solving situation with no initial teacher guidance, they share their ideas with their teacher, other students, or even the entire class as they expand their mathematical thinking. Learning resources are required so that teachers have options to differentiate and build on students' formal and informal knowledge. The DMT framework includes carefully selected tasks that teachers can use with their students as they advance from their initial informal ideas to more conventional mathematical models. For example, this task addresses equivalent fractions. In classrooms where students' ideas are taken seriously, the instructional focus is on valuing and building upon students' intuitive understanding of mathematical concepts. Modeling is key to developing mathematical thinking, so the second dimension encourages students to try out multiple strategies and models. In classrooms where students are encouraged to use multiple strategies and models, the instructional focus is on developing students' understanding of various approaches to solving problems. Initially, students need to physically enact out the model before moving to an iconic model to get a visual understanding. Then, as their understanding progresses, they can model it symbolically. This third dimension moves beyond procedural understanding and presses students to conceptualize the mathematics and establish connections between various methods and models. Students are encouraged to reflect on how they solve problems and articulate relationships between different strategies and models. All students, including struggling learners, are supported through this articulation and discourse. In classrooms where students are pressed conceptually, the instructional focus is on building connections between mathematical strategies and models and progressively formalizing those ideas and methods for solving problems. The fourth dimension involves shifting the focus to the structure of mathematics, the mathematical elements that are constant across all grade levels. Students use the words unit, decompose, compose, partition, and iterate to help explain how a model works or how they solved the problem. This helps students understand and establish connections between concepts and embeds the mathematical language of structural components throughout each lesson. In classrooms where students focus on the structure of the mathematics, the instructional focus is on facilitating students' understanding of fundamental mathematical concepts and helping students articulate their understanding through structural language. In the fifth dimension, students' misconceptions and mistakes are valuable tools that teachers use to construct deeper levels of mathematical understanding. When teachers focus their practices on the first four dimensions, their attention can shift toward focusing on student misconceptions. The models students use for problem solving, the mathematical connections they make, the conceptual understanding they build, and the structural language they use enable them to reason about misconceptions. By addressing misconceptions, teachers can involve their students in justifying, evaluating, and inquiring into how they solve problems, encouraging them to correct flawed ways of thinking and make sense of math. The DMT framework ensures that every teacher, parent, student, and administrator engages in successful math experiences.